This presentation briefly describes what variables are, talks about a specific type of variable, a local variable, and explains how to use local variables in NetLogo. In computer science, a variable is a container or a storage location that holds a value. This variable has the following fixed properties. It has a name which is used by the program to access the value. It has a type. It's a number, a text, a boolean, and it has a physical location in memory. The value stored in the variable can be used by the program or changed by the program as it is executed. Three steps must be followed for using variables. First, you have to declare a variable. This allocates space for the variable and sets the name given to the variable. Then you have to initialize the value, which sets the initial value for the variable. Then you can either call or modify the variable in the program. This means you use it in the program or change the value that's stored in the variable as the program is executed. A local variable is a variable that can only be used in the procedure or command block where it is declared. It cannot be accessed by the program in any other location. In NetLogo, you declare and initialize local variables in one step using the let command. Here's an example. Let NuVar 15. This declares a variable named NuVar and initializes it to 15. To call a local variable in NetLogo, you just use the name of the variable. Here's an example. Set color NuVar. This sets the color of the turtle to the color 15, which is red. If you want to modify the value stored in the local variable, you use the set command in a different way. Here's an example. Set NuVar 25. This modifies the value stored in the variable NuVar to 25. To show you how you might use a local variable in NetLogo, Let's look at a very simple program. In this model, we have 50 turtles moving around the NetLogo 2D world. 49 of them are red, and one of them is white. We want to measure how far the white turtle is from the center or the origin of the NetLogo world. Here's the setup procedure. You can see that we've cleared the NetLogo world, created 50 turtles, and scattered them randomly across the NetLogo plane. Then we set the color of all 50 turtles to red. After that, we ask turtle 1 to change its color to white. Next, we have the walk procedure. In this procedure, we declare a variable called dist with the let command, and then we initialize its, and then we initialize its value to 0. So the command looks like this, let dist 0. After that, we move all the turtles forward one step. Then we asked turtle 1 to calculate its distance from the origin using a standard distance equation. Now you might not know how to calculate the distance from the origin, and that's okay. The important thing here is to see how we have modified the value of the dist variable to the new distance from the origin. After that, we can print the value of the variable dist in the command center using the show command. So here's what we get when we run our simple program. You can see that there are 49 red turtles and one white turtle on the NetLogo plane. At the bottom, in the command center, you can see that we've printed the distance of turtle 1 from the origin. In summary, a variable is a named memory location that holds a value. The value can be used and or changed as the program is executed. There are three steps for using variables, declare, initialize, and then call or modify. A local variable can only be used in the procedure or the command block where it's declared. If you would like further information on local variables, please see your NetLogo manual or the NetLogo dictionary. Thank you.